Hello, my beautiful Royal Rogues. My name is Jesus Enrique Rosas, the Royal Rogue, and I'm glad to connect again. A long time no see, by the way. Haven't updated the channel in a while, but I think this is worth mentioning. Queen's granddaughter earning well, barely seven pounds an hour working at a garden center, just like any other normal teenager. Lady Louise got a summer job before going to university this fall. She gets it. She's 18 and works harder than the second row. This is this is great to know. And she made the headlines. But you know that some headlines can be quite hard to understand, such as this one from The Sun. A cost of living crisis must be bad. Queen's granddaughter works in Garden Center. That's a bit harsh. And in fact, Peter Ford tweeted, a young woman takes a real job to earn an honest wage and she gets mocked. Presumably, they'd praise her if she was sitting at home in front of the TV all day. Now, it, it, this this is um, this sounded really bad. It came out really bad. Cost of living crisis must be bad. It's like criticizing her decision of uh, having to work. But, uh, in fact, uh, Matt Wilkinson said, I'd suggest you actually try reading the story, Peter. We are full of praise for her. I went down the rabbit hole on this, and I wanted to confirm... How did the son try to portray Lady Louise being natural as any other 18-year-old looking for a job over the summer? And, well, I have to say that the pictures that they picked were really, really nice, very beautiful. Queen's granddaughter, Lady Louise Windsor, has been earning £6.83 an hour working at the garden center. A shopper said, I knew the cost of living crisis was bad, but I didn't think I'd ever see a grandchild of the Queen working at a garden center. I think that was the line they they got to make the headline, to write the headline from that comment. But the problem is that the headline comes off as too rough, too uh, gray. Uh, and, and in fact, it sounds a bit insulting. But well... A shopper who was served by the royal said, I couldn't believe it was Lady Louise. I had to look twice. A spokesman for her confirmed she will start at St. Andrews University in Fife next month to study English. Lady Louise, who rejected the chance to become a working member of the royal family when she turned 18 last November, is not expected to return to the garden center as she prepared to move north of the border. The palace did not wish to comment. I also took notice of another piece by the son. Young lady, why is Lady Louise Windsor the queen's favorite grandchild? That is nice to see. Let's let's uh, dive in. And the, the picture was really nice too. Why is she the queen's favorite? It's not known whether the teenage royal is actually the queen's favorite, but she began to be referred to as such after she spent the summer with her majesty at Balmoral Castle in 2019. A royal insider told the son that the queen had become particularly close to Louise and that she seemed to have become her favorite grandchild, closely followed by her brother James. They added, Louise also endeared herself to everyone by looking after William and Kate's children when they were up here. So that must have been it. So that must have been added to that charming ability to say, well, she might be the uh, queen's favorite grandchild. Why not? Louise loves drawing and sketching and was very patiently trying to get Charlotte to do pictures of rabbits and deer. I, I like that. I like that, Louise. I also like to draw and, and paint. Because of her obvious artistic skill, the Queen allowed Louise to look through some of the collections of Queen Victoria's Highlands sketches, which are kept at Balmoral but are rarely dug out these days. So we can say that there's a um, small preference, a uh, small deference in this kind of actions from the, the Queen to Louis, and that is nice to see. At the same time, the son says late Prince Philip would have been proud of Lady Louise Windsor for taking up summer job. Perhaps we shouldn't be so surprised given her parents, Prince Edward and the Countess of Wessex, are among the hardest working and on showist royals. We, we should have on a scale like that the showist and on showist royals. Adding green fingers to her blue blood should also impress her uncle, Prince Charles, himself a fervent admirer of, not to mention, occasional communicator with the plant world.
We reckon her late granddad, Prince Philip, to whom she was especially close, will be very proud. This is this is nice to see. Down to earth royal, a down to earth royal that makes headlines, makes to it to the headlines in such a uh, well natural way. It's refreshing to see this, and I think this is a reflection that the royal family has all this sensibility and all this humanity, and it's not like the media has painted them for so many years, and you know, or the people that have talked about them in a bad light. My Royal Rogues, this was just a short update. Uh, soon I will be making more videos. Expect more one hour lives soon. And remember, much love and bliss. Take care. Love you all.